Hi folks, good day everybody, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, 9th of December, 9th of December, it's hard to believe isn't it that a couple of weeks and we're going to be Christmas, just feels like we've just got done through with summer and um, we are already at Christmas, so a couple of things, one is I'm having a lovely drink of Kind of looks like a green tea. Well, it is green tea. It's a great combination. It's a great health tip. Uh, organic premium matcha, which is a, a Japanese green tea. And also with moringa leaf, which is highly nutritious uh, leaf of uh, the moringa tree. Um, combine them together. It's a great health. It's a great health boost. So I just pass that on to you. Do your own research. Moringa and matcha. So <laughs> I'm just telling you that, just in case you ask me, what are you drinking, son? <laughs> no, actually, I'm I'm kind of interested in nutrition and and health, and um, so I thought, you know, why not just pass on a few tips to people. Uh, I certainly like it when people recommend something to me. Moringa is very good for sort of joints and arthritical type of things, you know, shoulders, creaky bones. Anybody out there? <laughs> and uh, of course, um, matcha is great uh, for energy and is a great antioxidant. What have I got for you today? Well, I thought we would, as I, as I promised, I was going to touch upon uh, how to tap center. It's really uh, very important, I think, to know how to tap center. And it's just something you learn, really, through necessity, if you make enough pots. If you only make a few pots once in a while, well, yeah, you're just not going to get the, uh, enough practice to be able to really learn it. So, um, why do we why do we want to learn to tap center? Because it's very it's a very quick and easy. Uh, I I call it a, a knack if you know what I mean. It's a knack to be able to to centralize a pot in the middle of the wheel. Of course, as potters, we know how important it is, don't we? That we've got to get things on center and um, take for example take for example if I'm over if I'm over here on the decorating bench here uh, I want to do some some banding on the banding wheel well I've got to, I've got to, I've got to know how to get it into the middle to be able to do that you see so not only is it useful on the wheel uh, the, sorry, on the decorating, well, yeah, on the wheel, but also on this wheel, the decorating banding wheel. It's, it's really important to know how to do it. Saves you such a lot of time. Um, I'm not a great advocate of these newfangled uh, bits of kit, machinery, whatever you want to call them, that do it all for you. So... Uh, I don't know how to really go about showing you this, but I mean, uh, I talked about it as I do, you know, as we go along in the in my pottery videos. But I think the best way to show you how to do it is just to simply demonstrate it, isn't it? So, if you want to learn how to do this, put a pull on the wheel. Now it's maybe not going on center like that, isn't? You want to tap it, of course where it's coming round towards you, like here, 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 you see? So when we hit it, we, we hit it more towards the centre. Um, and now I just give it lots of little taps, like that. And there he is, he's, he's on centre. Now if you're not sure if what where the centre is, if you haven't trained your eye enough, if you take a stationary object like a stick you can put it up to it and it'll soon tell you how whoops, 
Oops, <laughs> he's broken. I knocked him. Okay, never mind. Here, we'll take this. I found this bowl. So I recommend to if you're going to if if you're going to practice, don't have something that's like that that's sort of tall uh, and narrow based. Take something with a, a a wider a wider rim. Okay, let's imagine that this. Okay, let's bring that camera off the tripod here, mate. I want you to see this from above, if possible. Uh, see if I can do this. Oh, I should be able to. Okay, so, okay, there, there's the, let's not let's purposely knock it off. Okay, there he is. He's he's going off. He's off center. Okay, so I've got to get him on center. Okay, one tap, two, three. Dee, dee, dee. How's that looking? Now, if you put a stationary object, it should give you. Basically, that's basically on center. Let's knock him off again. So, so it's good having a, a a piece like this that is wide in the base. It gives you more security. You're not sort of feeling like it's going to fly off the wheel, like that guy did. All right. Okay. Let's knock him off again. Try and get this a bit more from above. Okay. So tap, tap, tap tap and now you can fine tune the tap just by lots of little sort of so when he's very off like that you want to you want to obviously hit it in such a way to knock it to the center. So you see, I mean, I've I've taught myself to do this. Not that I it, it wasn't that I really set out about trying to teach myself to tap center per se, it just, it happened along the way, if you know what I mean, uh, in a sort of unconscious kind of way. Um, so there he is, so we just give him a tap. Don't have the wheel going too fast. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm just doing a video. I'm talking to the world. <laughs> Let's have a sip of that tea. Just give it a stir around. Let's get it. Yes. Um, now maybe I was turning around the other way. Now it's going to make him somewhat more precarious. Yeah, because he's got a very narrow foot down there. So if you're going to tap center something like that, you want to make sure that when you hit it, you hit it right down here at the base. Okay, don't try and tap center it by hitting here. All right, if you do, you'll get something like that happening. You see? So to tap center, uh, um, a narrow footed form like this, aim down there, aim down low, you see. But the same thing applies. Now that's that bowl's got a little bit of a a little bit of a warp to it, but basically you'll see 
you look down at the base there, is on centre. Alright. So, in the, in the production of ceramics, you'll constantly be needing to do this. So you'll see that's basically it is on center, but it's got a little bit of a warp, a bit of a warp to the bowl because he's it's a it's a thinnish bowl, plus it's it's been faceted. Um, here's another bowl I picked off the shelf, um, but. You just got to practice it. If you do this, if you do what I'm telling you, showing you here, you, you'll you'll get it. You know. Move him off again. Okay. Just give him a general tap to begin with, like this, and then you can give him some some finer little taps. Now my eye is fixed here on this, so that's maybe a question you might have. Well, where am I, where am I looking, Simon? Where should I look to know whether it's on centre or not? So you want to look at a point where you, you think you, it's going to be fairly true, which probably the foot ring here, because I've trimmed it. So um, as I'm tapping it, I'm looking, I'm looking here, okay? Because that's what I want to get centered, that foot ring. Thing is, you see, if you're in the middle of, say, let's say you're, you're trimming this. Do, 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 you know, and you're trimming it, you know, and then in, in the middle of trimming, oops, it comes unstuck. So you've already cut the foot ring. Now you've got to put it back and got to get a dead center again. Otherwise, if you come back to try to carve the foot, once you've already started it, it's going to really look terrible, isn't it? So you've got to learn how to do that. So I'm quite often when I'm doing this kind of thing, um, I'm focusing here on the foot ring because that's where, well, basically, because that's where I'm working, if you know what I mean. So as you can see, it's it's very simple, isn't it? It's very straightforward. It's nothing complicated. Well, you, so you say, Simon, but you know, hmm. Notice how I'm tapping it. It's very, you just, you've got to do it. You've got to train your eye, you see. There's no, there's no, there's no secret, there's no shortcuts, no secrets, no special formula. Basically, it's eye, hand, coordination through gentle tapping and focusing my eye as I'm tapping okay all right that is that's that's tap centering there um, let's let's grab this jam pot here oh I've already got this on the wheel and we can use that I guess so, well, here's a, let's say I want to do some decorating. Uh, I've got to have, I'm going to have, I can do this one-handed. Because this, I have to spin the wheel with my other hand, you see. Uh, actually, I don't want to tap that because it's got glaze on it, and I don't want to make the glaze all. Okay, there he is. So I'm going to. So you see now, if I want to take some brushes, I've got to have him on center, haven't I? If he's not on center. Now, you can't, as far as I'm aware, there's not such a thing for, for doing this like you can buy, like a, a gizmo, you know, like a, a Giffin grip. So, you know, you've, got to, you've just got to, there's no, you've just, there's no way out. You've got to learn how to do it if you want to do any banding. You see, but you'll be surprised if you keep practicing it. 
Now you can either make a lot of pots or you can use pots like I've got here as practice items, you see. This is this is a work of art itself, isn't it? What I'm doing. I'm holding the camera with my left hand and I'm doing all this tap sending and explaining. That's a work of art, Simon. You want to, you want to know how, how hard to, to, to tap it, you see? You want to have, tap it so, so hard in such an uncontrolled way that it the whole pot flies off the banding wheel onto the floor. Whoa! So as I say, put a, a stationary object, maybe your finger or, you know, a piece of wood or whatever, a stick or a piece of something or other, like that, you see. And it'll give you some... Now, if he's, if he's, if he's out, when you put the stick there, you'll see it... Whoops. I nearly did what I did the, other, the last pot I broke a minute ago. When you have a stationary object there, it, it somehow accentuates how badly out of true it is, you see. Okay, I think I've said enough. Um, I'm usually spinning this, you see, with my left hand underneath. trying to do it so you can see from above. All right, Simon, I think we've, you've made your point. We can see it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you don't have the wheel spinning too fast when you do this. Okay, there you go, anyway. So, yeah, go to my website, simonhpottery.com. Yeah, there's some more pots up there. I keep on putting more and more pots up there, you know. Why not? Might as well stick them up there. I've got them lying around here. So, go there, check out my website, go to the Etsy shop. If you're interested in a leech treadle wheel, um, I'm trying to start a new batch. I've got uh, one person interested, or two possibly, could do with a couple more. If you're interested, leech treadle wheel, the best wheel money can buy. No buts about it. And guaranteed for at least two or three lifetimes. Okay, nice. This is a finished one here that's, it's actually a kit wheel, as you know, comes in a box. Uh, this is an example of a more well used one. It's kind of got dirty clay all over it. Um, whoops, better centralize that teacup quickly. Boop. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in a leech, a leech treadle wheel, uh, they are um, a world all on their own. Uh, nothing like an electric wheel, quite honestly. Uh, it's a whole new feel of making ceramics on one of these yes so yeah if that interests you write to me Simon Leach Pottery at gmail.com okay excellent lovely thank you very much for joining me I hope that helped some of you out there who are keen to know more about how to tap centre there's no there's no reason why anybody if I can do it anybody can do it you know, I'm not particularly talented, but I mean, you know, just practice and you'll get it. It is that simple. And just just apply what I've shown you here and, and you'll get it. Keep practicing. I'll see you. I'll see you around town. Adios amigos. Ti, 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 ti.